Hello, and welcome to Altium Designer. In this video, we will show you the conditions that lead to the warning message of, this installation of Altium Designer is not supported by the subscription on this license. We will also go over what needs to be done to resolve this message. You have just installed the latest version of Altium Designer and are activating your license by accessing the User Control drop-down menu and selecting License Management and then signing in with your Altium Live credentials to access the licenses available for your organization. Let's look at this license here in particular. It is a perpetual license with an infinite expiry date, a status of OK, and a subscription status of expired on the 15th of December 2016. I am activating this license by right-clicking on it and selecting Use. Notice the warning here indicating that this installation of Altium Designer is not supported by the subscription on this license. The Click for More Information link provides a message indicating the subscription on the selected license does not support the version of your installation of Altium Designer. And a link to renew your subscription if you desire to use the latest version of Altium Designer. With this warning message, you will not be able to open or create Altium Designer documents or projects. This is because the subscription expiry date of December 15, 2016 predates the release date of this version of Altium Designer. To resolve this message, we will need to access the Altium release notes in a web browser to find a version of Altium Designer that was released prior to the subscription expiration date of the license and download that version of the installer to install that specific version of Altium Designer. In a web browser, Execute a search for Altium Release Notes and select the Release Notes for Altium Designer link. Here in the Release Notes, you can find the date each version of Altium Designer was released. With a subscription expiration date of December 15, 2016, it is safe to say that we need to be looking for an early version of Altium Designer 17, as Altium's yearly release is normally a month or so before the end of a year. In the upper left corner of the page, above the context menu, select 17.0 from the Altium Designer documentation drop-down menu. Scroll down the list of releases until you find a version with a release date that is just shy of the subscription expiration date of the license being used. Nope, not this one. Ah, here we go. The 5th of December 2016. Version. 17.0.7. .7. We will now go to Altium.com. Sign in with Altium Live credentials and go to Products Downloads. Here on the Altium Downloads page, select 17.0.7 .7 from the Altium Designer drop down menu and then select Download. Once the installer downloads, it will need to be executed to install this 17.0.7 .7 version of Altium Designer. Once I have installed Altium Designer version 17.0.7, .7, I'm going to sign in and use the license. Notice there is no warning regarding the license and that I have the ability to open and create Altium Designer projects and documents as those menu options are not grayed out. This applies to all three Altium license types on-demand, standalone, and private server that may have an expired subscription status. To summarize, with the latest version of Altium Designer, we activated a license with a subscription expiry date that predated the release date of the version of Altium Designer installed. We then made note of the subscription expiry date in the License Manager and found a version of Altium Designer that was released prior to the subscription expiry date in the Altium Release Notes found at altium.com slash documentation. We then downloaded the installer of this early version for installation and successfully activated the license to open and create new Altium Designer projects and documents. Thank you for choosing Altium Designer.